Brittany, thank you. When police arrested Marsh, there were no laws on the books preventing the mistreatment of corpses in Georgia, and desecration of a corpse was not considered a felony at the time. News Channel 9's James Torres continues our team coverage tonight. He tells us how the laws have changed since then. James. Latricia Calvin, funeral homes in our area tell me during that time, rules for cremation were pretty laxed. It was common for funeral directors to go without licenses to cremate, and even the process to request one in Georgia or Tennessee, all you had to do was ask. Since Brent Marsh, there's been plenty of changes. Brent Marsh, nice guy, great family. Um, it, it was very unexpected. What several had to say about Brent Marsh before the early 2000s, before he lied about cremating bodies that were later found on the property line of the Tri-State Crematory. Jason Cox manages a funeral home in Rossville, Georgia. He remembers a time when everyone went to Tri-State. It really saved a lot of uh, time by going from uh, Stone Mountain, Georgia to having one here. Cox says laws back then over crematories were very loose, something that may have allowed Marsh to do what he did so easily for so long. The standalone crematory was not inspected by the state. Um, it did not have an establishment license. The rules for running a crematory in Georgia are different now. An establishment license has always been required for funeral homes, but now they are required for crematories as well. Licenses must be renewed every two years, and desecration of a dead body is now considered a felony. The process of requesting a cremation, however, um, remained the same in Georgia. Um, we have to go through the registrar's office to get our permits. But that process is now different in Tennessee. The next of kin for the family member must request a cremation on the death certificate. It must be taken to a doctor who must sign the certificate. It's then taken to the medical examiner who must sign as well. And then the county health registrar office must approve the cremation. Those regulations were included to add more accountability and less risk for families. Cox says now that his business has a crematory, he receives clients from both counties in Georgia and Tennessee, meaning he must follow the laws of both states. Calvin. Thanks, James. According to the Georgia Secretary of State, there are currently more than 700 licenses for funeral establishments and 110 licenses for crematories.